brushes and a palette. Don't forget a water cup. First, we're gonna start with picking a color. I wanted to do a purple on my pop socket. So I'm going to do blue plus red since there's no purple here. Um, so let's get started. We now have our purple, so let's get started on painting our pop socket. So let's take our pop socket and start adding a coat of purple. And yeah, let's now wait for it to dry. Okay, so after it dried, I thought it kind of looked black. So I went out and I found some purple paint. And so now I'm just gonna take my brush, rinse it off in the water. and use the lighter purple paint I found so it looks better. And I'm just gonna take this and take some purple paint and put a small coat over it. But I don't think it's working, so yeah, we're just gonna Take it and add it and trying. And it actually made it kind of lighter. So we have something better now. So yeah, there we go. Now we're just gonna wait for this to dry and we can do a design over it. pop sockets dry, I'm going to take another paintbrush and just take some yellow paint and I'm going to try to paint the flower. So a little dot in the middle. And then just kind of fill it in. So it doesn't look odd. And then we got the main base of our flower. Small little dot. There we go. I got a little bit more yellow paint, so I'm just gonna get it off with that. And there's our main base of our flower. So now that we have our main base of our flower, I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and rinse it off in the water. And then I'm gonna take some white paint, dry off this paint first and take some white paint, very little, and then draw a little petal. And then remember if it goes wrong, you can always just paint over with some black paint or some purple paint, whatever you prefer. So after you draw like a nice outline of it, I would take some more white paint and go over it a bit harder with some more so it looks nice. And then I would just wipe off some white paint and Keep going with the other petals.